Hello and welcome to WKP. Today we're going to be tracking Invest92L, which is now at an 80% chance of forming based on the National Hurricane Center's predictions. So as you can see right now, Invest92L, since my last update, has become a little more compact and the strongest parts of Invest92L are right now over Campeche and Playa del Carmen. So that's where the strongest part of the storm lies. And as you can see, there really isn't a center of circulation on this thing yet. Um, but if it does form, it definitely will end up with a center of circulation. But what I'm seeing is some of these clouds are moving down this way, and these clouds are moving this way. So it looks almost a little bit like it's circulating, but I'm not too certain about that. So here's what we're going to be seeing. This is on Saturday um, at 5 a.m. That's likely when we're going to be seeing this um, make landfall as of now with winds of around 38, uh, possibly even 39 miles per hour on landfall. Wind gusts at around 55, maybe 58 miles per hour, depending on how strong this becomes. So if it does become a strong or uh, if it does become a tropical storm, then that will definitely change. What we really need to keep an eye out on this storm uh, for is the amount of rainfall that we're going to be seeing. We're going to be seeing an immense amount of rainfall, especially in New Orleans, Louisiana, which, as we know uh, from previous storms, that is not good. So on Friday at 1 p.m., we're going to be seeing rain around uh, 0.2 inches to areas near the coast at around 0.28 inches. And as we go later on into the night and Friday, we're going to be seeing that heavy rain moving on in with rain around 2.11 inches um, down near um, Morgan, uh, down near Morgan City. We're going to be seeing rain around one inch and near the coast around 2.36 inches. And as we go almost to midnight on Friday night, we're going to be seeing that heavy rain moving on in to um, the areas where we do not want rain. Up near Morgan City, we're going to be seeing around one to two inches of rain down near the coast, around two inches of rain. And as we go on throughout Saturday, we're going to start seeing heavier rain move on into New Orleans, which we know is not a good thing. New Orleans should receive around 2.6 um, to 2.78 inches of rain from the storm. So we're going to be seeing some very heavy rain from the storm. And the rain, rain sorry, is going to become more widespread as it moves on inwards. And if it starts to slow down, which it looks like it may, then we're going to be seeing heavier rainfall for certain areas um, as it moves on inward. So as you can see, it's going to keep dumping rain as it moves on inward. Luckily, it doesn't look like it's going to come to a complete stop or slow down because there is a high pressure system coming from this direction that will be moving it on throughout this direction. So luckily, that will reduce the rain chances. So as you can see, the rain is going to become more scattered and broken up. But we will still have to keep an eye on this rainfall because as it goes inland, there could be a flooding issue. As you can see up in the southern parts of South Carolina, we could see a flooding issue, which has happened sometimes with previous storms. All right, let's move on into what the National Hurricane Center is predicting. So, disturbance one, 80% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. Shower activity associated with the broad low pressure area over the Bay of Campeche in the adjacent air land areas has become a little better organized since yesterday, which I have already showed you on the satellite imagery. This system will move a little tonight and little, if any, development is expected during that time due to interaction with land. However, the low sh system should be begin to move northward on Thursday, and a tropical depression is likely to form by late Thursday or f on Friday when the low moves across the western Gulf of Mexico. Yes, that could happen because the conditions over the Gulf of Mexico are very conducive right now. An Air Force Reserve Unit Reconnaissance Aircraft is scheduled to investigate the area on Thursday if necessary. Regardless of development, heavy rain will continue over the next few days. Heavy rain should also begin to affect portions of the northern Gulf Coast on Friday. Please consult products of your local meteorological service for more information. So formation chance through the next 48 hours is at around 80%. 
and for the next five days is at 90% chance of forming. So it's likely we will see it form in the next couple of days. And later on in this video, I'll show you what the conditions are in the Gulf of Mexico. So um, to see how likely it is that we'll see it form. So here are the tracks for the storm, the spaghetti models. As you can see, anywhere from Louisiana down to around Texas, uh, around Corpus Christi is where we could see that landfall occur, though we could see a more southern uh, Texas landfall. And we're going to see this um, Invest 92L possibly become Claudette. That That's still not out of the question. But we're going to see Invest 92L or Claudette move out over in this direction once it makes landfall uh, because of, like I said, a high pressure moving this way that will push it down uh, through the um, United States and out around North Carolina or Virginia. Here's the strength models for this storm. As you can see, only two models have it becoming a tropical storm, though I, I believe it's more likely we will see a tropical storm. The rest of them have it staying very small, maybe getting up to around uh, 30 knots for wind, though I do believe we will see it become a tropical storm. Here are some more tracks for it, as you can see, anywhere from uh, Texas all the way down into Louisiana, possibly landfall on New Orleans again, which is a bad case scenario. So now we're going to get into the reasons why we may see this form. So earlier in the week in the Gulf of Mexico and where this storm was located, the um, wind shear was very inconducive. Uh, well, it wasn't very conducive for tropical storm um, development. But as you can see, this green that means it's um, becoming very conducive, and that is exactly where the um, invest is located right now. There are still some areas where it isn't conducive, but we've been, but I've been seeing a trend where this has been moving out, meaning that with the less wind shear, we could see a higher chance of development. And here, let's take a look at the ocean analysis. As you can see, the temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico are almost 30 degrees Celsius, which is very, very conducive for tropical development. So it is possible we could see this form very, very soon. Thank you for watching. This has been WKP. I will have a video after this on Tropical Storm Bill and the effects that it'll have on Newfoundland. Thank you for watching.